Okay, hi everybody, it's Liz Fanlow, and I have another edition of my Beauty Sleuth uh, Go Live Facebook Live uh, video, and this goes hand in hand with my beauty blog that you can find on www.lizfanlow.com, where you'll find in the beauty blog section uh, some different postings about common myths out there related to health and beauty that I'm trying to bust once a week. So this week's beauty myth is something that I hear all the time. I have a lot of people who say to me, oh my god, my skin's so dry, I'm not drinking enough water. And they proceed to get really down on themselves if they're not drinking enough water and they're, therefore their skin is dry. Fact or fib, is this a myth? Let's find out. Okay, so the truth of the matter is that that's kind of a myth. We've all read and we all get told you've got to drink eight ounces of liquid, typically people say water, um, eight times a day. But this doesn't really affect your skin, okay? It doesn't affect whether your skin feels dry or not. The truth of the matter is that when you intake water, it, it, yes, you're, you're, all your organs need water and your skin is your largest organ, but your skin is the last organ to get the water, any of it. Okay, it is sucked up and used by all the other organs in your body. So it rarely gets to your skin and it certainly doesn't get to the top layers of your skin that you see that look dry. Okay, so it's a, it's a fit. Now, will it hurt you? Well, you know, the jury's kind of out. It's, you know, no one says it's going to hurt you. Some doctors will say if you drink that much water, you actually could dilute some of the nutrients in your body. But, uh, you know, some doctors do feel that water can help your skin. But typically they'll say that it's probably a temporary effect. You may get a little plumping of some of those wrinkles, and it may feel like your skin's looking better, but it's temporary. It's not from, you, you cannot moisturize your skin from within, okay? Now, a couple of other points on this I wanted to make sure. Um, all right. If you have severe hydration, but I'm talking like severe, you know, like you're gonna, you, you know, it's bad, okay, then you could have dry skin from that. But we're talking, sister, super, super severe there, okay? So in the end, most doc doctors will agree that uh, you know, a dollop of moisturizer is gonna do a lot more for your skin and its dryness than any kind of water or liquid that you might drink from within. So, here we go then. What are we looking for in moisturizers to help with dry skin? I mean, that's the thing, right? That's what it all comes down to. When somebody says to me, oh, I've got to you know, drink more water, what I think the best answer is, is and what fabulous skincare are you using on a daily, regular basis that has proven ingredients in it? that will help you keep your skin moisturized because you need to do that too along with the water. So you definitely want a, uh, ingredients, uh, if you're feeling dry, you want ingredients that have an ingredient that is called hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is not some scary acid that you know is thrown into skincare. It's actually natural to your body, so you need hyaluronic acid. And that ingredient actually holds its own weight in water a thousand times. It holds a thousand times its weight in water and it keeps the water in and it tracks the water in your skin. So you want to look for hyaluronic acid in your moisturizer and I have a link to a great product on my uh, blog that has that ingredient in it that I really like. And then if your skin is feeling dry and red and irritated, um, you need you, you could maybe have a lipid barrier on your skin that's been compromised, okay? And the lipid barrier on your skin, you can think of it kind of as a fence, and it keeps moisture in. And if it's compromised, it, your skin cannot keep the moisture in, and you just stay red and chapped and irritated. And this happens a lot as we head into winter. So you want to look for products or uh, regimens that actually help you address the lipid barrier. And yes, I have links to products that do that in my blog. So you want to look for um, 
oral regimen or skincare routine that helps you build up your lipid barrier. Because once you get that built, built up and you can keep the moisture in, you can graduate to other products and ingredients that maybe address other issues that you're worried about. Okay, so I think I beat that horse there. The whole, like, I'm not drinking enough water, I feel so dry on my skin, is a fib. Um, and there are other ways to address the moisture, right? Moisture of your skin. You cannot moisturize your skin from within. All right, I'll see you next week. And uh, thank you. Several people gave me some ideas for some other myths to bust. And I will address them going forward. Okay, have a great evening. Bye.